right, Big Tony here. You just got your alpha band. I'm gonna show you how to do a bench press on any regular bench press in any gym. First, we'll take each band, loop one through the other end, pull the other end through. This will form a knot. So now your two bands is one band. All right, I like to take a 10 pound plate and put it in first. That way you have a space or that way the band doesn't bind up on any of the hooks here. So first we'll take the one end, loop it over the other end, take the other end of the band, run it through the bottom of the bench, take it, what you're gonna do is stretch it out over the other end of the bar. I like to push down and get the slack even on both ends. And once you do, now you can bench press. You can see that the tension definitely tightens as you get to the top. That's gonna help you explode on the weight. So coming off your chest, it's gonna progressively get stronger and harder for you to press. This is gonna help with your sticking point and your lockout. All right, so what Tony's doing here is, one of the main purposes, like I said, is working on speed. We're having that extra resistance and you're trying to shoot fast, it helps with that explosiveness and that speed. So fast, lock out, two, three, four, good. It also is more difficult to lock out at the top, so it helps with your lockout. It's not as hard at the bottom, you don't really feel the resistance. You feel the resistance about halfway up, and as you go up, it gets a lot harder. So if you can push through fast with these bands, your speed is gonna be through the roof. We all know we're hitting that heavy weight. One of the most important aspects of getting it from point A to B is your explosiveness. So when we're doing speed work, we're throwing these bands on, it's gonna help with that explosiveness. Fast. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. You're not only dealing with gravity, but you're dealing with extra resistance. So you're not gonna just coach through that. You need to be extremely violent and aggressive when you're pressing through with these bands on. Come on. One, three, two, eight. Come on, speed. Yep. And then you can legitimately say, easy money, baby. My name is Akia Jenkins, and I'm going to show you a squat and row using an alpha band. You're just going to take the band, you're going to wrap it and turn it into a knot here at the bottom. I'm going to hold back. Make sure the tension is tight. You're going to squat down, keeping your chest up, sitting back on your heels. As you come up, you're going to drive and squeeze. Coming down, push through the heels. This is a good way to get your heart rate up as well because you're doing a squat and you're doing a row at the same time. So you're using more than just one muscle group. And obviously the quads, the hamstrings, they're bigger muscles. So you're gonna exert more energy, which is gonna increase your heart rate. All right, y'all, so another good movement for the alpha bands is a movement you see me do often, and that's an upright row with the bands. Now, you can do it, sometimes I'll superset it with barbell rows, sometimes I'll do it alone, and just to burn out or to rep, uh, warm up, whichever one you wanna do, and you can increase the, the uh, intensity by adjusting the resistance. So, if you wanna make it easy, just place one foot in the band. Simple, boom. And depending on what, t what uh, part of the shoulders you want to hit will determine where you place your hands, okay? So I'm going to come about right here and
boom, easy, right? You wanna add in uh, resistance, you place your other foot in the band, boom. So it kind of stretches it out at the bottom. Same thing, ah, wow, it's a lot harder, ah, ah. Now, if you wanna be a badass and an overachiever, like yours truly, you spread your feet out a little wider. The wider you go, the more resistance, quite naturally. Ah, 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 mm, 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 mm. And when you're, when you're making it wide to increase the, uh, the resistance, don't stretch the bottom. Actually take your foot and slide it up. That's, that's how you're really increasing the resistance. So it gets really hard. So you're not at a gym or you're at a gym, all the barbells is taken up or, or whatever the situation is, or you're at home, you can just pull your bands out and get a legit workout. You don't need the gym when you got bands, but the bands can assist you in the gym to make things a little more difficult, which is good. So this is another, uh, another one of my favorite movements that I use the alpha bands for. So another good thing you could do with the, uh, the alpha bands is partner ropes. So we'll take turns just repping out. You can, you guys can, you know, make the rep range whatever you want. I like to keep it at least 20. So I'll do my 20, he do his 20. We can set a number, like an amount of uh, sets, or we can just go till last man standing, which is typically what we do. So once again, to increase the intensity and the resistance, at, place your hands higher. The, the, the shorter you make this, the harder it will be. The further out, down close to yourself you go, of course the easier to be. So you wanna give it, you wanna start with some resistance. You don't want slack in it. Okay, start here, pull all the way through. Ah, see that's too easy. So I'm gonna go up, boom, there we go. Ah, 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 mm, mm. I hit my 20 and then he automatically go to his. Now we'll come, come up some more. Go. My turn. Cool. All right, just want to show y'all another movement that we could do with the alpha bands. And this, once again, is something you could do at home, you could do in the gym. It doesn't matter. This is like a, a, a gym you take with you. You do everything with this. What the key is gonna do right now is demonstrate some, once again, some body weight squats, something you can do at home or in the gym. And uh, you can superset this in between uh, exercises or do it by itself or do this before you start squatting or whatever you wanna do as a warm up, dynamic warm up. She just, it's simple, put it around your neck and step into it. Once again, the more you slide out on the band, the more resistance it'll be. The closer you're in, the easier to be. So Kia is gonna knock out 40 reps for her and her creepy trainer coach might pop in and, and check out the, pro, the, the progress. The progress. All right, let's go, 40. Uh, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, come on, three, four, five, six, all the way up, seven, eight, twenty-nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up, seven. Eight, nine, yeah. See, easy peasy. Heart rate up, get a little sweat going. And 40 reps, we always wanna do more than 40 on body weight stuff, but just a little demo on what you could do with the alpha band, baby. Baby. Creepy trainer approved. Yeah, I approve all of that. I approve all of that.
All right, so what the key is gonna do for us now, this is a movement for the men and the women. Keep in mind, all of these movements that we're doing is for women and the men, it doesn't matter. So she's gonna do some step ups right now with resistance. Now, um, a lot of times you see people, let me show you something real quick here. You're doing your step up, right? Boom, you're doing this, and then you're coming down and boom, kicking your leg up. You don't wanna do that. You wanna keep the constant, constant tension on the, on the leg. So it's constant, boom, boom. Well, oh, she's gonna do that, but with some added resistance with the, with the uh, Alpha Academy Alpha Bands. So it's real simple. Just tie a little knot in there. She's about, she's a gnome, so big booty gnome. <laughs> So she's five foot gnome, so she had to make a little uh, loop in it just to shorten the distance uh, uh, of the band. But typically you just step in it, throw it around your shoulder over here or over there. And what you're gonna experience is a lot of core work, cardio, and a lot of leg, quads, hamstring, all of that. All right, so what, what she's gonna feel, you're gonna feel it in your core, quads, glutes, hamstrings, and cardiovascular. Good, see? down and right back up, keeping that tension on the leg the whole time. Good. 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 Easy peasy, baby. Easy money, baby. Alpha bands, baby. Another good movement with the Alpha Academy Alpha bands is weighted push-ups. Um, a lot of times we like to, you see uh, me, Big Rob, We'll push each other down while we're doing push-ups. Here you can do it, you can get that same benefit without having somebody there. So just wrap it around your back and beast out. You're getting that extra resistance from the midpoint all the way to your lockout, which is still uh, helping you out with your explosiveness. It's gonna help you out with your lockout on the bench press. And if you just want a home workout or a workout without weights, you can still get busy with the bands. Easy money, baby. Uh, another good uh, movement for the Alpha Bands is to use it as an assistance with pull-ups, okay? So just real easy, step one foot in, try to control it, and pump. This is good for people who can't do pull-ups on their own yet, and also good for people who can do pull-ups that want to just burn out, okay? Because even if you could do pull-ups, you're still getting some work in with this, with the band giving you some help. You could just get more than what you could normally do, which is a huge benefit in that in itself. Good. Now, if you can already do pull-ups, what you'll do when you get the band is do your pull-ups. You would do way more reps than you could do without the, uh, the band. Good. And we like to call that easy money, baby. Anyway, so this is a good movement for abs. Just hanging on anything high, higher than you. Grab from here and just crunch. Oh. You really want to squeeze at the bottom. The longer you hold the squeeze at the bottom, the harder it is. Another movement, baby. Did I do that right? Once again, one foot for easier, less resistance. Ah. You wanna increase the resistance, add another foot. You can make this as hard as you want. It's constant tension. And to increase resistance from there, just go down, add more resistance. You see how tight it is? There's absolutely no slack. Yeah. There's just a few exercises right there that you could do 
But the what you can do is endless with uh, some good resistance bands, especially some real strong sturdy ones like this. I mean, you could do stuff with tons of weight with this. You could do stuff with no weight with this and still get busy, you know? So go ahead and pick you up. Some Alpha Academy, Alpha Bands, baby. Ain't that right, Kia? Creepy, creepy, creepy train.